In the early hours of Monday morning, a peaceful protest on the streets of Hong Kong ended in violence. The police charging in with pepper spray, using it with full force as they quash this latest pro-democracy demonstration. No extradition to China. Hundreds of thousands of people joined Sunday's march against a new law allowing extradition to China. Despite their protests, Hong Kong's chief executive today signaled the bill will pass. While we will continue to do the communication and explanation, uh, there is very little merit to be gained to delay the bill. Those who took part in this massive show of dissent fear their freedom and the autonomy of Hong Kong is being eroded by Beijing. Not only me, but I believe that most of the Hong Kong people um, felt really angry on Carrie Lam's um, response to to our rally. So, um, and I hope that the Hong Kong government would respect um, our opinion. Following the handover in 1997, Hong Kong was promised semi-autonomy. But in recent years, the Chinese government has begun to exert more influence. Hong Kong was promised self-rule for 50 years. But after just 22, it looks like Beijing's patience is running out. From the independent booksellers forced to confess to crimes they didn't commit, to an outright ban on a nationalist party last year, there are signs of China's increasing influence. More protests are expected before a final vote on the bill. In Hong Kong, they have their freedom of speech and a heightened determination to use it. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.